hello so this is my first IGTV video and I'm gonna be doing a reading um, I think I can only make this 15 minutes long but I wanted to try something new so and I got a, a new deck it's this fairy one it's called I really love it it's very high high vibrational magical messages from the fairies so I'm excited to use that so I'm just gonna do this is gonna be the masculine energy and then I pulled the um, feminine energy as well so, um, this is just a general video, just like, what do we need to know right now? So just ask, what do we need to know about the masculine energy right now? So I'm gonna go ahead and get started, like I said, because I only have 15 minutes and I tend to chat a lot. So I'll start with the tarot, and the first card we get is Ten of Swords. <laughs> so this is like a very painful death and ending. It kind of reminds me of a, like a dark night of the soul, but, um, this is just like an ego death too because the swords are about the mind so this is just a very like it's 10 though so it's a completion it's the ending of something um yeah it's just like an annihilation of the ego so that's where the masculine energy is right now um but like you can see here like on the horizon like um there's a new i didn't want to say like a new dawn <laughs> there's a new beginning happening but this death wasn't was necessary so it's like a dark night of the soul um like annihilation of the ego pretty much and the next one we have oh i love this the lovers um so this might be like the ending of a relationship so that a new relationship can begin um this could also represent gemini um so that's a beautiful message let's just continue so ten of swords with the lovers so that this seriously might be a, like a relationship ending um it might be a very painful ending um but it might be necessary to like call in a new relationship what I'm getting. Okay, next this is the magical messages from the fairies. We have healing healed healer. Healing energy surrounds you in this situation. So things are healing, <laughs> especially after this like ten of swords, like this ending, this death, this painful ending, like you're just healing. Um, so the masculine energy is really healing, which I feel that person with my own masculine energy. Um, so right now is a time of healing. Let's see what else comes up vegetarian this is interesting because when i was shuffling for the masculine energy i also the one that wanted to come out was dietary change um but i was like i already pulled two and i just want to keep it at two so i kept that one in but that's funny that vegetarian came with this a new way of eating gives you more energy greater health clarity and stronger manifestation abilities so this helps you like raise your vibration um so and it just helps you heal in general so if you're like wanting to attract a new relationship or you're just from this painful eat like ending um in order to move back into this like space of the lovers because this is like not just with another person this is like unity with ourselves this is like the masculine and the feminine energies combined feeling whole within so in order to like especially if you're manifesting a relationship or you're in like a soul relationship twin flame soulmate whatever you want to call it in order to um to like manifest which it says manifestation abilities and manifest a relationship um and to communicate with your beloved or your your soulmate or twin flames higher self it's important to raise your vibration and eating greens and like eating vegetables just really helps raise your vibration um so i can speak of that personally <laughs> all right and this will help bring you out of this like energy of feeling like defeated and dead and like <laughs> tired and exhausted and this will help re this will help like recalibrate I don't know, that's the word that came to my mind. Next, this is from um, Whispers of Love. We're getting, listen with your heart. You are listening to what is being said to you, but you need to listen with a loving heart. So I was talking about this, um, like in order to like commune with your um, soul and like your masculine energy or vice versa, your feminine energy, because this is for the masculine, um, you need to listen through your heart. So um, like Claire audience is really how we listen to um like the divine through our heart or like our clairvoyance is how we um see through our heart so um i'm just getting to like rest because especially with this like this ending and like your healing um and like when you're in this state of healing um it can make you want to like eat crappy food to like comfort yourself but this is saying you want to raise your vibration right now so to eat like good foods and um be around flowers be around nature um especially here this is the Midwest, so right here, personally, it can be, like, cold and hard to get outside, but incorporating food and changing your diet um, to reflect more of nature will help you stay, like, grounded and raise your vibration. 
Then next we have take a chance on love. When we start to love, our lives are changed forever. So that's beautiful. <laughs> um, so this says just take a chance, especially maybe like you've been hurt in the past with this like painful ending and this lover's here. Um, so what I'm feeling is like the masculine is just really healing themselves so that they can take a chance on this love because we have the lovers here take a chance on love um there's a lot of energy coming through with the masculine energy I'm sweating like profusely right now and that happens a lot when I channel the energy so I feel like there's a lot going on with the masculine they're really learning how to heal themselves how to come out of this energy the way they do that is like by allowing themselves to heal allowing themselves to rest and listen to their divine guidance is what I'm getting here too with this listen with your heart um so you might be being called to change your diet this will help um, bring you out of this state here. Um, take a chance on loving yourself too, not just another person, but there are two people here on this card. Um, but like like I said with here, it's like loving yourself and feeling whole within. And then like when you're in that state, you're, you're connected with your beloved, you're never really apart. There's no separation, it's an illusion. So that's what I'm getting with the masculine energy. Now I'm gonna move on to the feminine here. Okay, so the first card we're getting is the Hierophant, which I love this. This is about, like, spiritual teaching. This is about following your divine guidance. This is just about taking what you've learned and, like, sharing it with the world, which this has been coming up a lot, too. I feel I've seen the Hierophant a lot, which I'm going to share underneath the deck what I got with, with each deck, too, I believe. But, yeah, so spiritual teaching, like, leading. This is leading to me. Um, so next we have the Fool. So this is like taking a chance, a new beginning. That's funny. So like taking a chance on this like spiritual teaching is what I'm getting. Um, taking a chance on like being led by the divine. This is all about new beginnings. This is like taking a leap into the unknown, but like being happy about it, being like confident about it. Um, like not sure where you're headed exactly, but knowing that it's in the right direction. Um, I'm getting that the feminine's really working on trusting the intuition to make the necessary steps forward. Um, to take the to take the steps forward but it's taken a lot of like courage <laughs> that's what i'm getting for the feminine so or like you're being divinely led like this new beginning is coming um all you have to do is like be open to it and allow it to come to you um but also like take your steps as guided as necessary you know as you're being guided to next we have pregnancy interesting the birth of a child brings great blessings to you and the world this is very interesting. So part of your spiritual teaching or part of your spiritual path may be like having children. This could also be like mean being pregnant with like an idea. Um, but I'm getting a very like physical pregnancy with this. So um, this is very interesting. Let's see what else comes up with this pregnancy. New home. Moving, in the, moving is a step in the right direction for you. So I'm getting that like... Um, like this this fool and this new beginning will potentially bring this pregnancy and this new home is what I'm getting um and this is being divinely led like this is part of your purpose you may be feeling this you may be feeling especially I feel the feminine is feeling this urge to be a mother feeling this urge to give birth to create something new like I said this doesn't have to be a physical birth this could be like a metaphysical birth too um this birth might be this new home like you might be manifesting something but I am also getting that there might be messages for people that, like, are expecting or want to have children that, um, that this new beginning, whatever you're doing, will bring, like, this pregnancy. So this feels very, like, physical to me. So, like, it's, like, phys taking the physical steps, but doing it based off your intuition, based off your higher guidance, your intuitive guidance, divine guidance, and allowing that to, um... Just know that you're on the right path. That's what I'm getting at. Somebody needs to hear that you're just, you're on the right path. So next, with the spirits of love, we get new love. That's funny. We have new home and new love and with this fool, the new beginning. So lots of new stuff. Embrace this new opportunity of love that is here. This may pertain to work opportunities or spiritual growth, which I love that that came with like this hierophant too, like the spiritual growth um, and new love. Um, so this is all about taking chance, taking a step into the unknown is what I'm getting. And then next we have slow down. <laughs> when you are excited, you get ahead of yourself. Take some time to allow things to unfold. 
this is perfect because um, this might excite you, like being pregnant or like being a mother, um, traveling or moving to a new home um, might excite you. And these things are happening, but it's important. Like I, I'm getting that the feminine is feeling this intuitively, like feeling this pull, feeling this, feeling this nudge. And I'm getting that your intuition is right, but it's important to like go slow and allow things to unfold naturally and as they will. Um, there's no need to rush anything. This is all happening by the divine, like, so it's divinely orchestrated. That's what I'm getting with this Hierophant card, too, is that, like, everything is being put into place. Um, so it's important to be patient, especially with our feminine energy, because I'm getting that with this pregnancy card, um, is that um, I just lost my train of thought, so I'm not sure. <laughs> All right, so now I'm going to share what's under the deck here. So first we'll start with the tarot. And under the deck was two of swords. So this is all about like making a choice, um, making a decision. I like the moon is showing there. Um, <clears throat> this does have the moon on the picture. Um, I feel like this is about like, don't turn your back to your intuition. Like um, you may be feeling like blindfolded or like you can't see, but it's telling you to like trust your intuition to trust the guidance that you're receiving and make a choice from there. Um, and then next for magical messages from the fairies, I like this, that this is what I wanted to share. So spiritual teacher, which is what I was getting with that hierophant. It says your life purpose involves teaching others about healing and spirituality, which I love that. Um, cause with the masculine, we have this healing healed healer. So if you may be a healer, there's a lot of feminines that incarnated here that came to um, be healers and so you may need to take the steps necessary to heal yourself in order to become a healer and to help other people heal but yeah so I was getting that with like the feminine energy here is like this is part of your purpose so whatever is going on with you in your personal life feminines it's part of your purpose and then under the whispers of love deck is like attracts like if you are longing for more love in your life, you need to be more loving. This is perfect. And um, this is just all about manifestation. So like attracts like, the law of attraction. Um, and trying to keep your thoughts like aligned with your feelings. So that you can like manifest whatever it is that you desire. Which could be a relationship. Um, I'll just put these all back here. So you kind of get an overview. So yeah. This is the masculine energy, what's going on with them right now. And this is the feminine, which we have both these within us. So it's not like this is only what's going on with men and this is what's only going on with women. This is a mixture of both of us. The more we learn to like balance our masculine and feminine energies, um, uh, just the more balanced things become externally. So um, I feel like the masculine is just working on healing, keeping his like because um, the end of the ego like so raising the vibration keeping the thoughts and the emotions aligned and really working on loving himself and taking care of himself and I say him but you know gender doesn't apply and then the feminine is just working on taking a chance on like allowing the divine to work through her um, birthing this new idea or, or birthing a new child um, creating this new home creating this stability focusing on that because this is, the pregnancy also reminds me of, like, creating a home within. Um, so, and focusing on, like, new love and taking it easy. Like, get it, like, don't get too ahead of yourself. Like, if you feel a new beginning coming, because that's what this fool is all about, um, know that it is. But it's just taking some time, so be patient and slow down and be gentle with yourself. And that's it. I will maybe be back. I'll definitely probably be back. I just don't know when. So, take care. <laughs>